Okay, what we're going to do today is put a ceiling fan in the bedroom. But we will be using a $50 ceiling fan from Home Depot. I'll be installing a Z-Wave switch to control the light for my through my home security system. And then we'll be using the sawn-off switch to control the fan so that I could uh, use the fan through my Google Home. So we're using those two. The, uh, the light I already took down. To verify, I have a four conductor here. So um, previously the light that was in here was connected with just um, power from the switch. So the, the white wire is my neutral. The black wire was unused. Uh, the red wire was used as the hot for the light. So we'll be using the um, the extra hot wire for um, just either the light or the fan, one or the other. Uh, and we'll be rewiring the light switch here. So the uh, new Z-Wave light switch will control just the light. And I will be running constant uh, hot voltage up for the, the fan which will be controlled by the Sonoff relay to work the uh, the fan. So I could just uh, say uh, to my Google Home to turn that on. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so I pulled the uh, switch out of the wall. Let's see what we have here. So there's a lot going on here, but not to be uh, too overwhelmed. Um, I'm not an electrician. I'm a low voltage guy, but uh, this seems to make sense here. So our neutral wire, they are not connected to the switch at all. That just passes through probably to uh, a couple lights here within my master bedroom suite. Uh, I have the a ground wire connected to the switch, and that is spliced in the back of the box there. Um, the red wire, like I said, the red wire up at my light was switched for the light previously. And so I can tell which of the multiple wires is going to the light above my uh, bed there. Uh, the black wire, which was unused previously uh, on the switch here, is going up with the red. Uh, that would be constant. So that was previously connected for constant voltage up to uh, the light. And then the rest of these blacks here are just other hot wires that were um, spliced together to go to other things within the room. So uh, it should be very easy to connect the new Z-Wave switch. We will connect our ground. I will need a jumper off of this neutral to go to the Z-Wave switch because that Z-Wave switch will need constant uh, power to it. And then I will connect back up this red wire as the switched and connect this black wire back up as our constant. So let's get that wired up and take a look at that. Alright, let's take a look at my Z-Wave switch that I will be replacing. Uh, we have five screw terminals, so the ground at the top. There's a traveler here. This is if I was using like a three-way light, which I am not. We will not be using that. We have load, that's the the light, so the light will be controlled by that, so my existing red wire will be going to load. Line, this will be my hot wire uh, coming from my breaker, so that's constant. And then neutral, this will be added, this is previously not on the existing light, um, but there is a, a bundle of white wires where we'll be picking up this neutral uh, so that the Z-Wave switch um, has constant uh, power so that it can be controlled from my home security system. So we'll be uh, connecting this all up. Let's uh, check this out and uh, we'll pair it to my home security system in just a moment. Okay, the new switch is in. I was able just to pull off the existing terminals uh, on the old switch and move these right over. So we have our, our hot here feeding this. Uh, my newly added neutral, this white wire, uh, the switch came with one, so we added that to the neutral, the ground wire, and this is our load, our switched wire um, up to the 
ceiling fan here. So um, we'll be back in just a minute. Let me jam this in the wall and uh, we'll move on to the fan. All right, the uh, wall switch is in, the new Z-Wave switch. Uh, the old faceplate fits. Uh, it does not come with one. Um, but this switch is unique. It doesn't actually stay up or down. It um, You can hear it clicking and it returns to the center. So, uh, so that's unique. Once I turn the power back on to the house, we'll then pair that to my security system. Okay, um, got the motor mounted. Um, I'm probably going to hinge this down. This uh, unit hinges down so I can wire up and then tuck all the wires back. Um, but the ceiling fan, there's um, a ground to the chassis, a ground to the motor, and then I have my ground wire uh, for my electrical. Uh, up here, a little short wire there is my switched. This will go to my light, the neutral, and my hot wire. Um, so what I'm going to do with the neutral, that will go to the motor as well, um, and the light as well. Uh, and it's also going to pass through my sawn-off switch for my fan. Uh, the hot wire here, uh, the constantly hot, will also pass through my sawn-off switch uh, for the fan. So um, let's wire it up and I'll show you after everything's wired here. Okay, so how the sawn-off switch works, um, there's basically your neutral and your load in, neutral and a load out, and in between the in and out is basically a relay that will be controlled by Wi-Fi or my Google Home. So I don't have a lot of, um, room with the existing wires so I'm going to be adding just some scraps uh, to the in and the out and I'll make some uh, splices with wire nuts and I'm going to get that connected now. Okay so I've got the sawn off unit installed um, so the input I have my neutral and my constant hot wire coming from my switch and then I'm going through the sawn off switch and this is switching the wire going into the ceiling fan. So I did take the uh, neutral out of here. It's not needed. It just uh, is a short um, straight through here. So uh, I didn't need it. I did my splice here instead. So I want to get the power turned back on. Try pairing the sawn-off unit and the Z-Wave. And before I button this all up, I want to make sure the fan spins and the light works. Okay, Google, turn on the bedroom fan. You got it. Turning the bedroom fan on. Okay, Google, turn on the bedroom light. You got it. Turning the bedroom light on. 